Hey, welcome to the Nika Said Podcast. And if you're new here, I'm Nika Williams, a planner girl, mom to an eight-year-old husband, and a diehard Atlanta Falcons fan. At the end of 2016, I was happily fired from Amazon, which jumped off this online journey. After signing two clients within 10 days and booking out my services as a virtual assistant, I was thrown as the Facebook queen and Coach Nika was born. All that to say I'm a virtual assistant and a VA coach helping women realize they don't have to choose between work and their family, you can have both. And if you're looking for financial freedom while also having family focus, this is the podcast for you. You'll learn how to grow a business that fits into your personal life and not the other way around. Oh my God, this is my favorite time of the year. Anytime a new year is starting, it just feels like a fresh start. I'm able to start from scratch. I'm able to get a lot of things in place. And um, I know a lot of people like to plan around the new year as far as what do they need to do? What do they need to get done? How can they make this year better than it was last year? It's a lot of a self-assessment on time of the year, business assessment, every kind of aspect in my life, I kind of look at and say, how can I make this better? Um, what was last year like, what wasn't working, what was working. Um, but I'd like to do this. It just feels like a fresh start. So if you are really super excited for the new year coming or any kind of milestone that's in your business, maybe it's a quarter or maybe it's the first of the month, um, wh- whatever you're doing, whatever time it is, then I'm going to discuss today a lot of my to-dos that I do to get in place or get started or get um, things in order for a new year. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Nick and Seth Podcast. And it's around the time of where everybody is wanting to start a business. Um, and so I wanted to talk about my top um, new year like to-dos. Um, what do I do when it is a new year or when it is like um, third quarter, first quarter, when it's, we hit a quarter mark or any kind of milestones? Um, what do I normally do to kind of like make sure I'm heading on the right path or make sure I am getting ready to actually implement some new things or start a new business or can kind of like tweak and adjust, get things rolling and um, off on the right foot? So in the beginning, um, I will always kind of like look at um, what do I want to do in the um, new year or when it's a new, um, you know, new time of year, fresh start, when I wanted to um, switch it up a little bit. I always looked at like, what do I want to do? What is coming? Um, what do I need to put in place to actually get me to where I want to go? But I think a lot of people um, forget to look at is what you need to do is review your last year. If you have been in business, even like a full year or maybe a month or whatever it is, review anything that you did last year so you can focus on what was actually working in the new year and ditch everything else that wasn't working. Um, If you're just starting in your business, then I would say look at and make some goals um, as far as what do you want to do in the, not even just the next year. Um, Of course, you can start long-term and put out a year, but what do you want to have done in three months um, or even a month in your business? Go ahead and set out some um, goals things that you want to accomplish um, in these next coming days. Um, so, but also make sure you are reviewing anything that you um, did, didn't do good in the past. Even if you're just like, hey, I'm really about to start my business this time. I really want this to work. What kind of tripped you up last time? What kind of made you start and stop last time? And make sure that you're focusing on, hey, this is what happened last time. This may come up again. This is how I'm going to kind of like um, get over that hurdle this time. So make sure you're looking at your past year, even if you haven't started, had it, did not have a business then, and or if you did, look at what didn't work and what was working, and make sure you implement that in the new year. The next thing is I like to do inside of my virtual assistant business and even my coaching business is I always like to kind of um, touch base with my current clients um, or even past clients and ask them what are their goals. Um, this is a good way for if your current clients, you to c- kind of like scale up. Maybe they want to add more tasks in. Um, they need some help to add some uh, new projects in the new year. Um, for you to kind of assist them with say hey I can assist you with that we can increase your hours a little bit Um, that brings you more money into your business but also it gives you more experience with their business Um, and it's just a way for them to get more done in the um, next year in their business as well 
when you do this with past clients, maybe they'll want to rehire you because, hey, I really want to start this business. I really want to get it going. Um, I have more things that um, I want to put in place. So I'll actually need you again. This is a good way to kind of like get some more money coming into your business. Um, and then the last thing for you to do is kind of get organized for the new year. This is something that I kind of struggle with. Um, but even if it's like hiring a VA or hiring someone to kind of like help you um, make sure you're on the right track and get things in order. Um, but also maybe implementing any kind of like strategies or tactics that'll help you stay on track and help you kind of like um, stay honed in and getting things done that may have fallen um, in the cracks last year or last month or whatever it is. So make sure you're staying organized and on point and on top of your business. So these are my top three things that I do every time it's like the new year or a new quarter is starting, any kind of milestone, even at um, the month, even if after each month, I kind of like try to touch bases on all of these three things. So let me know if you have any kind of questions go ahead and drop those in the virtual assistant facebook group virtual assistant club facebook group um i'm always in there in there interacting with you guys thank you so much for joining me today and make sure you check back next week for another amazing episode with actionable tips to grow your online business in the meantime leave a review and let me know your thoughts on today's episode and if you want to see what i'm up to check out my Instagram page at Coach Nika. Come hang out with other women on the same journey in the private free Facebook group, The Virtual Assistant Club. And remember, every day you're a one step closer to the dream life you want. Keep going, girlfriend.